We begin our roundup of day eight with the so-called French classic between Marseille and PSG at Stade Velodrome. The hosts got their noses in front when Andre Pierre Ginac rifled this shot as Christophe Gelé and Salvatore Sirigu. Six minutes later, PSG were level when Zlatan Ibrahimovic belied his taekwondo roots to flick home a Maxwell corner. Ibra then gave Paris the lead two minutes later with this free kick missile that curled away from Steve Mandanda. Marseille were in no mood to roll over, however, and drew level when Gignac nodded home Valbuena's corner just after the half hour mark. 2 2 the final score. I think we put in a brave performance, you know, we gave it our all tonight. It's true that Zlatan managed to score from two set pieces, but Gignac got one from a corner too, so, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that we're still top of the table tonight and that we didn't lose. The important thing tonight, if we couldn't win the match, was just not to lose it. The game between Lorient and Lyon got off to an explosive start with no fewer than 14 strikes in the first half, three of them hitting the woodwork. Baffert and Gomez up first before Clément Grenier attempted this lob from the edge of the box. The returning Alan Traore then unleashed a rocket of his own for the hosts. Good things come to those who wait and Gomez eventually put Leon in front with this volleyed effort. Before former Arsenal man Jeremy Alliadier pulled one back for Lorient just after half time. One all the final score. After a 3-1 win at home to Nice, Stade de Reims are up to 5th place in Ligue 1 for the first time in nearly 30 years, much to the delight of the players, the supporters and club president Jean-Pierre Caillot. This was a game where we had a chance to put some distance between ourselves and the relegation zone. It was quite a complicated match, particularly with the rain, it's never easy to play in wet conditions, but the boys worked hard from start to finish, especially after Nice equalised. We kept playing and we kept true to our values and it's just wonderful to see Reims playing this kind of football. Indeed, the host took a 1-0 lead in the 16th minute through Diego Rigonato, his third of the season. Nice then pulled one back just after the hour mark through Dario Kvitinic, stroking past Johan Liebus from the edge of the area. With the game heading for a draw, it was substitute Gaetan Corti who put Reims back in front, drilling a low shot home in the 87th minute. Super sub Corti secured the three points for Reims with the second goal in injury time, his fourth of the season so far. Ren travelled to Socho on the back of a home win over Lille last week and it took only seven minutes for Mevlut Erding to score the game's only goal against his former club. Socio had a golden opportunity to equalise with Sebastien Roudé a little later on, but he chose to try his luck rather than square for Cédric Bacambou. After hammering Marseille at home last week, Valenciennes got off to the perfect start away to Toulouse with this 12th minute goal from Fouad Kadir. Toulouse keeper Ali Hamada, who scored against Rennes a fortnight ago, went from hero to zero with this Carlos Sanchez free kick, gifting Valenciennes a 2-0 lead. Coach Alain Casanova nevertheless defended his goalkeeper. Well, he can't win the lottery every week. Uh, seriously though, he's been a key figure in goal for us in so many situations and he even allowed us to rescue a point with his goal against Rennes. At half time I could tell I had a team who were determined to get back into the match for Ahamada as well and that just shows the mentality among the group. True enough, as the inform Wissan Ben Yedda pulled one back for the host in the 56th minute, his sixth goal of the season. Adrien Regatin then rescued a point for the host with this neat finish in the 90th minute. To all, the final score. Take one. Take two. Take three. A superb hat trick from Saber Khalifa allowed Evian to claim a 3 2 win away to champions Montpellier. 
The Tunisian international, who came close to a falling out with his club over the summer, demonstrating that he is clearly focused on the task in hand. Today, Saber showed in the best possible manner the attachment he has to our club. It's something he's always insisted on. Saber and his teammates are very attached to the club. Lille, who suffered a second defeat in the Champions League against Valencia this week, claimed a first league victory at the new Grand Stade thanks to goals from Nolanru and Ryan Mendes. This instinctive second half strike from Mendes, his first goal in League One. Saint Etienne, hosting Nancy at Stade Geoffrey Guichard on Friday night, needed only 25 minutes to take a 4 0 lead and put the game to bed. A header from Brandao, his first for Lever, got the ball rolling before Romain Hamoumer doubled their lead after 19 minutes. Brandao then grabbed his second from Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's cross to make it 3 0. Before the Gabonese international raced past Andre Luiz to add a fourth. An emphatic home win for Christophe Gaultier's side, while things just go from bad to worse for Nancy. A look ahead to day nine in a fortnight's time, which sees Bordeaux and Lille kick proceedings off on Friday night. Paris hosts Reims in Saturday's early kickoff, while on Sunday Bastia travel to Ajaccio for the season's first Corsican derby. <laughs>